All right, guys, let's go ahead and do another message for my Leos out there. I thought yesterday that it was just my cats because I'm super allergic to them, but I don't know. I think it's like a little cold or something. So something told me we needed to do another message for you guys. So here we are for whoever's going to resonate for this message. Uh, it's the same type energy. Like it's similar to the last one I just did about scapegoat. Someone's tired of being a scapegoat. But I think we're going to get a little bit more. Maybe this one's different. I don't know. But it's like eggshells, honestly. Like walking on eggshells around an individual. You're tired of it. There's someone that you, or maybe someone around you, if this is not your message, they have to walk on eggshells around. Or like they have to be on their P's and Q's. Or they have to watch what they say because it will hurt this person. Or it will offend this person. Or this person could react a certain way. Or blah, blah, blah. But it's like they can treat you any way they want. They can talk to you any way they want. You know, like, always having to be, uh, like, the understanding one. Always having to be the one that kind of, you know, this couch is driving me nuts, seriously. Well, I am sitting on the edge of it, but it's just getting worse. It's, it's see? Exactly. <laughs> it's just getting worse. You can, you can see the cracks in the relationship. You can see the cracks in the connection. There are cracks. This is a, this is a, I don't, I don't know how else to say this, but it, it seems like you have a connection with someone here. I don't know how you know them. I don't know who they are in your life. If they're not directly related to you or connected to you, they're connected to someone who is connected to you. And this person's having, <clears throat> and always having to, um, walk on eggshells with this person other individual or you again are the one always having to walk on eggshells always having to be the one that like apologizes first or uh you know comes around first like you know you're coming around and they get to do what they want and I just I think that um you're going to get to a place if you aren't already at that place where you're like absolutely not <clears throat> no no I'm not, I'm not going to do that anymore. Like sacrificing in a way, like you're always the one sacrificing. You're the one that's been made to feel bad about everything. You're the one that's constantly been the dumb one. Again, the scapegoat as the last message. I just think that it's enough is enough. You know, enough is enough. Whoever this individual is, I do. I think that they're going to see kind of, if you will, like the error of their ways. I don't know if they will. I, I don't know. I don't know if this person will. In fact, I actually think they're going to blame you more. That's how it feels. It feels like this is someone who has a hard time taking accountability in their own life. And if they ever do, it's probably not very real. Like, um, if I were to put you guys in a room right now, energetically, not your bodies, not your human form, but if I'm, I'm pulling your energy from your body and I'm pulling the energy from this person's body and I sit you guys in a room before me right now, which one could I tell is, uh, <clears throat> feels more? It's you. Unless it's reversed. It's you. You're, you're invested in something. You genuinely care. But also, well, we'll get there. I'm going to go into that. And this person... I don't feel very much coming from them. I really don't, except for criticism. I feel like this person's very critical of you. But what it's, I'm telling you right now, I know it seems like that, and that is how it is, but honestly, where that comes from is they're actually quite critical of themselves. This is an individual who doesn't accept themselves, and they are, they are blinded right now by things in their life, and they aren't giving you um, much leeway for anything, but they want it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to use an example. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, man. Like, I feel fine other than this. It's like, um, maybe that's it too. You feel fine in your normal life. Like, you feel fine with everything in your life right now. Pretty, you know, stable for the most part. It's just your connection to this person that's not fine. Right? Um, do you ever feel like you can't tell this person how you really feel about something because they won't, they'll take it the wrong way? Like, what, what kind of relationship is that? What type of connection is that or friendship or, you know, whatever, however and whoever this person is to you, do you ever feel like you can't just be honest with them? Like you can't just say, um, I think you're screwing your life up. 
or I think that you're doing this because, but they can tell you all day what you're doing wrong, but God forbid you tell them and not to get them back and not to be like, well, I got to tell you something because you're always telling me what's wrong with me. No, but because you actually see some things and you know, I, I feel like this is a connection between two people that is severed. It feels very severed. I don't know if it'll ever grow back together. It feels very much like hair that needs to be trimmed. It feels like a split end. And a lot of times a split end, if you don't cut it off, it'll break off. It'll keep breaking up the hair shaft. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure, uh, what's going to happen here, but I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for what it's worth for uh, standing your ground, for knowing your limits, and for knowing that you don't always just, I mean, you don't deserve to just be the dumb one all the time, to be the scapegoat like the last message we did, or to be the one who like, what type of connection is that with somebody where you can't even tell them how you feel, and not even just feel, fuck the feelings, but what you see, if you cannot tell somebody what you genuinely see that they're doing, that is harmful to their life or maybe harmful to the people around them without them getting offended or shutting down on you and then and then it all comes back on you, right? If you can't do that, that's not any type of connection that's healthy for you. That's not any type of connection that you need. And maybe just maybe it's best to let the dead end fall off. Like maybe it is. Maybe it's best to step out of this person's way and then let them do their thing. Whatever that is, because right now, I mean, then then they'll have someone else to blame. Because right now, I feel like you are getting a lot of the blame. Like this person expects you to always, I don't know. Like they, uh, to me, it's abusive. To me, this is an abusive relationship. They have all the excuses in the book as to why they can act the way they do. And I'm telling you, there are some things they use, don't they? I don't really want to name them either. I know exactly what they are, but I'm not going to name them. There are reasons. This person's got excuses out the ass, like for why they don't um, do this or why they don't do this and this and this, all the problems in the world. And it's always because of somebody else, right? It's always because of a situation that happened in their life and this and that. And it's like, well, if I went there and talked about all the shit that's happened in my life, you know what I'm saying? But I, I think that whoever this message is for, I'm so sorry about my, my voice too today and the snot and I can't do anything about it, but I felt like we needed to do another message and I wish I could give you this like fa la 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 loving message, but I can't. It's like you're living in reality, whatever reality is, but you're living in like, can you not see like, you know what I mean? It's, but a lot of people don't want to live there. They want, they want to say everything that you've done wrong and this and that, but they don't want to live it in their own life. It's like fa la la over here. Meanwhile, anyway, so, and then it's like somebody is blinded. They're blinded. And embracing and dismissing all the flaws over here, but meanwhile, pointing out all of yours, it just feels like you are, I'm going to repeat it, like the last message, you have been the scapegoat, or if you haven't been the scapegoat, you've been the one that they use for everything. They used to talk to when they don't have anyone else. They used to call at three in the morning when they don't have anyone else. They used to hang out with when they don't have anyone else, but they'd rather be hanging out over here. They'd rather be calling this person at three in the morning. They'd rather be, it's like, how loyal is somebody to you? How loyal has someone been to you? They've been very loyal over here to people who don't give a shit about them, but, and they can be, they can be forgiving over here and they can be this and that over here. But as soon as they need something or they need money or they need attention or they need someone who, I don't know, actually loves them, then they come to you. And, but yet, but yet shit on you at the same time and give you a hard time. And then also forget about you as soon as everything over here starts working out again. And it's like, mm, I don't really like that. You know, I don't really like that. You're like abuse. It's abuse. I'm sorry. It's, it's abuse. You've got somebody here who, um, can neglect you. That's what it is. It's neglect. Somebody here neglects a whole, they neglect somebody. Uh, I think they neglect you unless it's reversed. Completely forget 
about you, won't, won't call, won't see how you're doing, won't pick up the phone, nothing. I mean, it could be months, days, weeks, years. And then all of a sudden when things start going kind of weird over here or whatever, or you just pop into their head or they just want someone to talk to or see how you're doing or whatever, you know, here they come. Here they come. Boy, this chair is getting on my damn nerves. And maybe that's it. Maybe this person's getting on your damn nerves. Maybe the situation entirely has got on your nerves and you're like, I don't, I've lost my patience with you. Really? I really think that this is a completely severed connection. I don't think that, I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it should come back together, <clears throat> which sucks for some because it's a family member, you know? For others, it could be like, I don't know. I don't know who it is to you, but I just, I just have a legitimate question. Why is it that you have to be the one that gets treated this way? I don't understand. I don't think it's, I don't think it's right. I'm sorry. I don't think it's right. I can feel exactly how you've been treated and I, I don't care who they are to you. I really don't. This person, I want to say, it would be different if they were like a little kid, you know, I guess. Um, but then we would kind of teach them to not be like that, I guess, to like, let's not use people, let's not abuse people and, you know, you know, but I think this is a grown adult or they're about to be, or they already are. This is a grown adult. And, and it's just like, Mm -mm. I think, uh, sorry, I'm like, it's fine. I just drank a whole bunch of tea, like a really, really large cup of hot tea. And, um, it's making me sweat. I think eventually this, this person is going to get for a little further down the road and not too much further either. I think they're going to get a little further down the road and then they're going to realize how much you've been there for them, how much you were always available when they needed you. Didn't matter what you were doing, you would put it down to cater to them. You would talk to them. You know, you remember things, you actually care, and you're not really getting shit out of this person. But a hard time. What else are you getting out of them? What else are you getting out of them? Nothing but a hard time, right? But they're getting everything out of you. I think eventually this person's going to come to their senses, but I just don't know if you're going to be there. Like, I really don't know. I really don't know. I feel like you are... Um, if you're not already at this point, I think you will be. Where you're kind of just like, I'm I'm done. Like, I'm okay with letting you go because I'm kind of tired of feeling like this way by being connected to you. Now, some of you, this is past tense. I, again, this is something that you already did. You had to, you already let someone go for doing this to you, vice versa. For, um, you know, when their relationship wasn't working out or, you know, they were having a hard time at home or whatever, they'd call you to meet up for lunch or something, or they would call you or they flirt with you every now and then when they didn't get the attention that they needed where they were at. And then they would just ghost you, not even talk to you again. Just be like, boop, boop. you know what I mean? Like, what the hell? They can't forgive you for things in the past, but they can forgive people like over here. What? Like, I don't understand. I really don't understand this person. I don't get them. And, uh, I think, I think uh, if you remove yourself from their life, which is probably going to be very hard to do, or if it was in the past, it was hard to do, wasn't it? But you did it. Uh, I think you'll start seeing, not only will they hopefully see you one day, but there's no guarantee there. I just think that they will, hopefully. Um, at least you'll see that maybe it's best that you, you do let them go because now you're not just always being taken advantage of and abused and used. Like, that shit don't feel good, you know what I mean? Who wants to be treated like that? Nobody. By the way, happy birthday. Happy birthday. This person probably don't even remember your birthday unless it pops up on Facebook or it pops up or someone else, but you know theirs. You know theirs, or maybe you know, like, you know what I'm saying? They have no clue that your birthday just passed or that your birthday's today or that your birthday's coming up in a few days or this next week. They have no idea. They have no, they have no clue. I hate this freaking chair. It drives me nuts. Sorry. I mean, not that that matters, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't even give a shit about stupid stuff like that, but it's like, what the fuck? Wow. Like, how can you show up more for people who, 
like that's just I don't even know I don't even know Let them have somebody else to do it to. I mean, that's fucked up to say, but I mean, that's what they're going to do. If they don't have you to be the dump on or whatever, then they're going to treat someone else like that eventually. Um, but there's no sense in you having to walk on eggshells with a person and live this way. There's no sense. Who wants a connection like that? I mean, it's going to be very difficult if it's family or someone you really love. Yeah, and if it's in the past and this already happened, I'm, I bet it was really difficult, wasn't it? Because you love the hell out of this person. You really love them. And I'm not saying you wouldn't be there for them, like if something really bad happened in the future, but you're like, okay, you don't need me then, then don't need me. Don't ask me for shit else. Don't even talk to me then. Don't talk to me. Because because I'll feel better, for one. Because right now it's making me sick. I don't see you sick about it. You're over there just living your life, living it up, doing your thing, right? But I'm over here having to deal with all that. No, I'm done. Like, I'm actually done. I definitely feel like this is a connection that should end. If it hasn't already, I feel like it should end. I feel like it should end. I feel like you should go your separate ways. I think you'll be a lot happier. I think they'll be a lot happier. And um, maybe just maybe if it's meant to come back together, you guys are meant to be close again, you will. But otherwise, I don't see it. I don't see the point in connecting with each other. I think this person, um, I think they're probably a better energetic match for another person, for other people. Uh, and I think you are as well. I, I think that this, the time is up here. If you're wondering about somebody that you cut off in the past or vice versa, however this goes, I don't, I still don't think it would be wise to come back together because I don't sense that this person's changed. What I sense is that something in their life has changed and now they need someone to kind of cling to again and you were always a good one for a while to cling to because you allowed it and then you started realizing like wait a second here am I getting used am I being you know what I'm saying so all right guys <laughs> I need more hot tea Woo! all right damn I wanted to give you a better message I mean it's not, honestly there's nothing wrong with this message it's this is real life shit this happens and the beautiful part of this message is that someone's woke up to it whether it's in the past they woke up to it already, you did, or currently you're waking up to it and realizing like, okay, all right. Mm. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna connect with someone who's just gonna walk all over me, who's going to abuse me or take me for granted. Why would I do that? That's not saying I love myself at all. That's saying I don't give a shit about myself. Like, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's also saying what I think I deserve and I deserve a lot more than that, so. Alright guys, thank you for being here with me and I'll talk to you later. Bye.